path is the same. That's why I'm here, making my own. Of course I'm entitled. I've not been given space to evolve. I'm putting my name in the history books and leaving your name on a stone. I feel like King Charles, cause this bitch is gonna die on my way to the throne. Canel's just a Ronald's battler, trying to get accustomed to the ages, calling NLC the black man, and he's mumbling his phrases. He'll snort anything if it's crumbling and flaking, and always fails to change, never comes with something innovative. I wanted competition, a hard match, you want that? You're just a drug addicted racist who struggles with the basics. I had a small <laughs> no. I had a spark of imagination, and now it's light work. It's funny how you got lines, but always struggle to find the right words. It's about time you get with the time, nerd, because you review horror movies. Mainly because the black guy always dies first. <laughs> You like this guy. Today, bro, it's time to die. I don't think you of all people can give me life advice. I'm at uni trying to get a degree. You're in fucking Chester doing China White. His throat's, <laughs> his throat's already been sliced. Maybe that's why you don't say shit properly. I'll smoke a blunt and put it out in the hole left from your tracheotomy. Cause all you have to Maybe that's why you don't say shit properly. I'll smoke a blunt and put it out in the hole left from your tracheotomy. Cause all you have now is hope and regrets. And just because you've been around the block doesn't mean I show you respect. I don't care if you got 30 times my experience. Cause you ain't got shit to show for it yet. I'll turn this thorn in my side into another hole in his neck. Oh. One line oh. of that's all you do is tried and tested. No passion, no care. Every line's embellished. No spirit, no soul. There's no life detected. Just hasn't got a face for the screen like biometrics. And you won't beat me. You go. And you won't beat me just because you drop oohs and ahs. Someone tell John Cooper Clark to stop doing bars. <laughs> When I'm your age, I don't want to be focused on horror films. I'm going to be getting a mortgage. But you're still sniffing packets till your vision's hella distorted. I'm face to face with an ex-champion. But you were never important. So fuck your shock factor. All I've got is an electric performance. I only use TikTok for unfollowing Koji. <laughs> TikTok for unfollowing Koji. I don't have time for all of that. So what sort of shit are you kids into, like Spider-Man and that? <laughs> I used to do mum jokes. I still do. Yeah. But when it was fresh, nevertheless, in real life, I've now got extensive experience dating chicks with dick and teenage sons. <laughs> <laughs> With the thermostat! <laughs> a gas and lecky top up every time I come here so I take it personally when the next day she's on Facebook saying she's back in the emergency <laughs> see this ain't for you this is for those of us who know that it's true what do you know about turning up to a second date with a 24 inch TV or Facebook marketplace to go in a room so we're not stuck on the sofa with a donut like you <laughs> I'm not just talking shite common thing with all these guys is they say weird shit to impress you at awkward times I'm coming out of the bathroom holding a towel. You're talking before I'm out the door. She doesn't have an ensuite up there. What do you think the towel's for? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got off with a bird who looks like Sophie Ellis Baxter, but she's from a different school and no one else has met her. <laughs> Looks like Sophie Ellis Bexton, but she's from a different school and no one else is there. I don't know anyone from your school either! So I'm not supposed to get the reference! Do you have any idea how off putting it is when she pulls your dick out of her throat like, Darren, stop bullying your sister! <laughs> it's fucking disturbing and it isn't fun. And if I don't know on her face like a minute later, I'm a typical Tinder cunt who discriminates against single mums. <laughs> Fucking, I just fucking hate teenagers, to be honest. <laughs> fucking, the wank smell from your room smells like the bat den at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> no one can ignore the stench. It's like you're obsessed with causing stress. I swear to God, cause of death, I will curb stomp you on the naughty stem. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
<laughs> 10 years in the game, about 100 battles, and he's only amounting to this. Coming off like a 40 year old alcoholic trying to get down with the kids. <laughs> Canal hasn't won a battle in years. I feel like I'm battling his ghost. My punches are way quicker. I can catch him as he throws. He makes jokes about rappers. I make rappers into jokes. Mm -hmm. I leave this junky bitch on the canvas like Marilyn Monroe. Whoa. Carl Dunlop, you never made an impact. 10 years, you never made any decent paper. I don't care how good they claim Carl is. He's face to face with something even greater. I feel like Ivan Drago fighting Apollo. Cause boy, you're in the deepest danger. And if Cole weathers the storm, the Russian has sent him to meet his maker. Mm -hmm. I, leave, I leave this bitch with a clear loss. I made you get tattooed while you rap. Bro, your career's gone. You've never been close to top tier. But I can put you up near God. They gave you a tattoo of a face. After this, they'll give me a face tap and I'll make it a teardrop. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't deserve to share a bracket with me. So I'm taking your place. You spent the last half decade Wasting away, pack it after pack it, till his nasal's in flame. Mm. So how the fuck can you claim to be great when nowadays your nose holds more weight than your name? I feel sorry for you. If you're thinking that you're winning, you'd have been better off forfeiting. I really came to talk with him. He has a YouTube channel called Sinister Cinema, but the cinema's only sinister because you're in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping them entertained. You told Soweto Kinch that he'd get smoked by any rapper on your resume, but so did you, by every day. A career with, a career with no accolades. You're honestly shit, the top 50 in the UK. How did he get on the list? Fuck the grind. I'm more concerned with body and him. Your name's Ken L. Of course you'll take a loss to the kid. This is your last chapter. This is your last chapter. The cams capture the emotions that float inside your glass. The fans watching your swan song. This pathetic attempt when you tried to rap and you never had anything to take. So I can't really make this guy collapse. But think Tony Montana. Cause no matter how many lines you drop, you're still dying in your final stand. Time. Let's go. I've never watched one of your battles, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen a thousand dickhead and you guys with the same dickhead attitude. Ooh, I'm the sickest with the punches and the angles, too. <laughs> I'm like, check the Twitter. Fat cunt. That'll do! <laughs> <laughs> Love a bit of low hanging fruit. Yeah. Yo, you look like you'd smash your phone screen changing a bed sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Cabbage Patch Kid grew into a Cabbage pa Mash Junkie. You look like you just smoke crack and get the munchies. You look like you lose one juice decision. Take it! You look like you lose one juice decision and start tweeting battle raps for pussies. Cause you are a wanker with delusions of grandeur. We've seen it before, we'll soon see it after. The newcomer potential just going through the motions till it don't go the way it's supposed to. Lose control of their emotions and show it on the socials. Disappearing in a year, no one even noticed. Fucking, uh, no one even noticed. See, it beggars belief. When reality don't match what these begs all believe, they say they'll focus on their music that they never release. It could never be me. See, I was about when the scene was in hell and needed the help outside in the downtime. Me on the bill. And if you don't agree with it, well, fuck a devil's advocate. I'll speak for myself. I was DFAFD when the... I was DFAFD when the cloud chasers all went missing like I was suffering on don't flop with poor conditions <laughs> They're all back now but before they did it I brought something cold to the table I'm a morgue technician mm. Wanna know what it's like sparring with me? Watch martyrs and see I've been doing this nine years with the heart on the sleeve and my army fatigues but the mark underneath Mark of the beast mm. Old school pirate radio head so it gets dark when a creep meets the karma police yes. oh. I don't want to hear about how you're already different Give us a call when you did it. If you don't put a shift in, you will never be ready. I've only heard you just now and I'm forgetting already. I still got fresh shit after 70 odd battles. Might go over a couple heads like wedding confetti. Mm -hmm. But yeah, fuck all the shite you think you're right. I'm never unoriginal. That's why I'm the guy. Does the crowd never know what I'm gonna say next? And most of the time, neither do I. <laughs> I always get it cracking, mm. sounding like a chiropractor, I'm snapping his neck joints. This is a brutal demonstration. So moving on to my next point, the tip of the knife edge, mm. my dissect canal. I expect noise. How are you the final boss 
When after I beat you, I'm going to checkpoint. I heard you battled Shuffle T and got bodied. That's about as high as you go, as your three fans love your free stars. They're all on ketamine, bro. Britain first, Doc Martens. You know the type he evokes. He's like Ricky Gervais, because everyone prefers him when he's not writing his jokes. You're just a sad cunt. The casual fans of Bronze and Love, Krusty the Clown, versus the champion of the Golden Gloves. And I don't get to show off the chip on my shoulder much. And I don't blame her, because you're one of his top talents. Of course he gave this hopeless cunt some promoters touch, but there's no passion, no moments. No one seems to show up to the showdown, so now look what the show's become. I don't care if Canal rap for free, he still came with a price. Cause how can anyone shout don't flop all fucking day? How can they say it with pride? When the soul this league once had, rappers like you ate it alive. Rappers like you bring this shit down, rappers like me make it survive. You were never, in, you were never important. Still pedaling forward with a style that was good a decade ago. Now everything's boring. Fans look Looking back to your LSD in battle. That was 2020. Can you see the sympathy forming? They will reach back four years just to find an impressive performance. So how can we as a scene move forward when rappers like him think it's okay to imitate old shakes when he raps like that? Takes a couple people back to the old days. Gets the mom jokes from Luna, the motives from Shuffle. Wow. You've really evolved, mate. You keep saying you're different, but you've never built shit from your own name. And because of all these tribute acts, I sat back as a fan and watched Don't Flop nearly die in a drought. A bunch of nobodies that would rather deliver lines to their nose than deliver lines from their mouth. You're gonna go. You're gonna go again. I already forgot it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What was the last line? Tell me the last line again. A bunch of rappers that would rather deliver lines to their nose and deliver lines from their mouth. You're gonna go from dropping lines in a bottle to trying to catch lines in the crowd. Yeah. You give them a reason to switch off. Woo. I give them signs to be excited about. Yeah, you go, Day is bearing down. I get very aware of how you thought about nothing else but me for weeks, and I've not been asked to prepare around. Because <laughs> this is difficult to motivate versus difficult to care about. You weren't welcome in the first place, and already managed to wear it out. I don't care if you claim you're nice. I've done so many battles, everything's already been said about me, so if it ain't a lie, it's plagiarised. Same old shite, find an old canal battle with some nice angles in and mix it with some modern pop culture punchline battling. If I say there's nothing new under the sun, I'm arrogant, but I've heard it all before. Sunshine Anderson. I didn't think about you for anything more than a minute or two, but I know your type and the shit that you do. Watch my old battles and think that it's cool, but when the crowd said say it again, they didn't mean you. Since my last battle, I've incorporated a company set up a software house. Since your last battle, you've watched my battles to get stuff to talk about. What shuffle? Oh, what shuffle? Oh, so well. Just taking it from them. See, entitled is more than just the name of this event. When we got dickheads in it saying they're the best and not even being top five at saying what they said. Did you say it better? No, it sounded whack, so if it is an original, I'm not accepting that. Nazi accusations. I was not expecting that. And Kin L, the kid. Oh, take you long to think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Now generic's normal, you're generic as it gets. Generic with performance, generic with a pen. Generic in a tournament's a way to get ahead, but if generic gets rewarded, generic's all you get. See, anyone who rates this is just too fucking thick to work out that if you said anything original, I wouldn't have a third round. Mm. Fucking That's nice. Whatever I do, I stick to the R. And you might not like it, but I spit from the R's. Fucking <laughs> spit from the heart, you know what I mean. <laughs> I spit from the heart. You just reach until you hit the wall to find things that'll spark like a light switch in the dark. Punches unconnected to the five previous bars. My shit's still connected to shit that's five minutes apart. Those mum jokes weren't just jokes that I did at the start. Before you was old enough to watch Terrifier, I'd split her in half like life imitates her. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. If I don't win, I don't care. I'm just breaking a fourth wall to show them it's load bearing. Let's go! Alright, dub team vs Canel. Dub team uh, first round. If we had the, the black guy died first in the horror movie thing, it was quite a funny line. Um, that was what stood out to me. 
um, Canel, uh, I thought he came with a great angle to start with, but it uh, was executed quite poorly. Um, and then he ended the round with a nice bar to curb stomp for the naughty corner. Um, I gave that first round to, to Dub. Um, second round, uh, nose hold weight from Dub was quite nice. Um, and then uh, I thought Canel. His round, he didn't have anything that really stood out, but his writing was a lot nicer and barred him away, so I thought he pulled it back, making it 1 1 going into the third, in my opinion. Uh, and then I thought Dub had nice writing and angles, but like lacked the punchline. Um, it was really nice writing, but you just, you're just waiting for the punch and it didn't really come. I was thinking uh, it's all to take here. And then Canel didn't really take it for me, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna have a tough decision at the end. And then out of nowhere, Canel does like a mid round freestyle um, about the Canel wordplay that, that Dub did in the other round and for me that that was enough to snatch the round and and and, and snatch the battle actually because it was all for grabs so i gave that uh, two one to canel i watched canel and dub t i had i think i had canel taking the first dub t taking the second i wanted someone to come out in the third and probably just take it like come out with a mad third round and neither of them did it so based on like all three rounds put together I had Canel. Dub T versus Canel. So, all round, I'm going to judge it on a, on a whole performance. I think Dub T had a lot more crispy. So, I put in him to go through. But Canel was very good as well. Very funny. Has a lot of good content in there. But just for me, based on preference, I'm going to put Dub T.